Hi, what's good, YouTube? I'm here with my wife Tiffany today, and she's gonna give me a hand doing this video. This is gonna be an update on all the blood pythons I produced this season, a bunch of my holdbacks, as well as the animals that are gonna be available. All right, so check it out. This entire ARS rack is filled with blood pythons. Um, you can see a couple empty already. Those have all been sold. The season went really good. Uh, all the clutches I hatched all fit into this uh, one rack. There was only two open spaces right there in the bottom. So I managed to pick up um, two new animals from a buddy of mine. And then uh, what do we got here? Everything with a blue tag is either holdbacks or they, they're they um, sold, as well as animals that are on hold being uh, on payment plans. So I think there's about 30 blue tags and about 10 or 12 of those are my holdbacks. So I'm gonna show some of my holdbacks as well as uh, some of the animals that I've already sold and some of the animals that are gonna be available. All right, so let me see which one we're gonna start with. right here this is a uh, male pollen it's an incomplete dominant form with the super being the flower so this was the first clutch of the season to hatch I believe Let's see so this uh this morph is a little difficult it's not a very how would you say kind of in your face type of morph so you could kind of say maybe something similar to like yellow belly. It's just not, you know, like a yellow belly versus um, a spider. You know, off the back, you look at a spider, that's a spider. Yellow belly, you have to look for, you know, the yellow on the belly and all that stuff, the markers or whatever. Just the different um, things that makes it a yellow belly. So with the pollens, they're definitely a little bit more difficult than like golden eyes and bat ticks and stuff like that to tell that they're a morph. The only reason I know this one's a morph is because of this striping and stuff. It looks very much like um, the parents, both of pollens. And then all these little black dots, as well as the red color coming in already really early. So this animal is going to be pretty red, just like the parents. And so far from what I've seen, anyone that has pollens, all the pollens seem to be really red animals. So that's the pollen. I'm going to show you the flower, which is the super form with the super pollen. I produced two of these flowers this season, a 1.1, and now you can see the difference. You can see what happened to that dorsal stripe. Definitely tell that's not no normal. Really looking forward to what the future holds for this project. There's so much to do with this. And these animals get really nice looking as adults. The, uh, this whole dorsal stripe is going to turn a real bright yellow, darker yellow, and then the animal is going to turn red. All that orange is going to turn reddish. So I think maybe this Saturday I might put out a video on just the, pow um, on just the pollen and the flowers, trying to explain what a few of us um, blood python breeders are noticing and stuff like that in the morph and the mutations. Because they like they are a little difficult for some of us to tell. With the pollen, at least the flower, you can definitely tell. That's just crazy looking stripe on it. Insane. All right, so those are the pollens and the flowers. All right. Let's see which one. I will have 2.1 pollens available. So two males and one female. You need um you need a male and a female in order to hit the super form. What else we got? So here's another hold back. I gotta change some of the labels on a few of these animals up here. Because originally I thought this animal was a T plus albino magpie batik. But this is actually going to be a T plus golden eye batik matrix. Comparing him to my adult um, magpie batiks, his uh, all the spotting isn't um it isn't as drastic as the uh, the magpie batik. Just a powerhouse animal. 
all these animals have had just one shed so far. They're already around five months old. Oh, yep. <laughs> Try to get me. You got to, yep. <laughs> Don't get too close. Nice. Yeah, see. His head. yeah. <laughs> I was trying. Yeah. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> so I'm gonna put him away because he's upset. <laughs> Now to show you one that doesn't have the T plus, what we look like without the T plus gene. This one actually is, um, this one's on hold for someone. So this is just a, this one here is just a Mac, not a Mac, I um, golden eye, matrix, bat tick, 100% have the T plus albino. I'm not sure why they look so upset today. <laughs> and then look at the, let me see if I can show you the belly pattern on them. Really crazy. All that black pattern in them. So a magpie bat tick, if you see all the pixelation on the neck, how deep it is, a magpie bat tick would have that going throughout the entire face. It won't have um, those heavy dark markings in them. So this one should be going, I think out in another month or so to its new owner. I think I have a female that'll be available from this. So golden eye, batik matrix, 100% had T plus albino. Very strong um, combo. Here's a T plus albino golden eye without the matrix or the batik gene. She just had her first shed or he. This one I gotta double check on the sex again. Real nice. All that blushing in this one's gonna get red. All this blushing coming up the sides. So one more hold back. Now this is what I had originally wanted to hit with this clutch, but in T plus, I missed it. In the T plus version, would have been the, the real power also the group. So this right here is gonna be a Magpie Batik Matrix. So that's why I originally wanted to hit on um, a T plus version of this. But you can see, if you look at the face, all the little black spots, right? That's where most of the pattern is in the face. There's barely any pattern on the belly. Very clean animal. And then I love the face on anything that has pixel, basically anything that has golden eye or batik in it, has a very skeletal, Day of the Dead look to their face. Really cool animals. And this is a female. This one is one of my holdbacks. You see that pink tongue? Matrix. Alright, All right, so right here, now you'll see without the Matrix gene, just a golden eye. Batik. This is a uh, pixel. You see the difference now. A little more colorful, not as light as the other ones. Heavier amounts of black. Again, 100% head for T plus albino. These get really colorful as adults. A lot of um, pink start to come through. So this girl's available as well. Okay. This is a whole back actually. All right, look at that one. Crazy looking. 
I think this is an ivory golden eye. So it's a super matrix. What is she? She's possible double head for T plus and T neg albino. You can see that pink tongue on her. Very, very reduced patterns all over. I mean, the face on this animal is really nice looking. Golden eyes really add that to the animals. All right, so here's a 007. It's a male. Pet for T neg albino. You can see the difference between um, this is a golden eye matrix, and then the other the pixel was the golden eye batik. So you can see the difference. Definitely pixels are um, a lot nicer to me. This guy's 100% head for T neg albino. He's another one that's going to be available. They already got good size on them. So that guy's head for T-Neg. I'm gonna show you an actual T-Neg albino 007. And this one's my whole back as well. Boom. Look at that animal. And that's only gonna get better looking as it ages. It's probably gonna end up orange. Really, really orange. And then uh, all that lavender coming through will probably end up white. Let's see. Come on, dude. There we go. Just look all over that color. So that's a T-Neg Albino 007. Golden eye matrix for the tail, real nice. It's picking up the color. Not as much as it should, not really. Crazy. So that's my whole back right there. All right, so here's another whole back, but this one might, I might let this one go. I have a few of them already as adults, but that's a T-neg albino golden eye. So that's his um without the matrix. Mm -hmm. Look how crazy she looks though. Female as well. I think this animal is gonna be really red. I think she's the nicest one I've produced so far. Really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, she's tying herself in a knot. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think this one, this one's pretty badass looking. You seen the double seven earlier that was just head for T-neg. This is a genetic stripe double seven. Look at how much more pattern it has with uh, the stripe trait. Possible double head T plus T-neg albino. And then he has a lot of pink coming into his neck already. It's gonna be super colorful. Just to show you the male before without the genetic stripe influence. You can see nice. the difference in them, yeah. I almost feel like keeping them. But I do have this in um, T-Neg already, as well as a super stripe version in um, T-Neg as well. So this guy will be available. Another male T-neg 007. This one I'm not holding back. I'm 
I'm not sure if this one's had his first shed yet. And they really tying themselves up today. <laughs> I see that. A magpie matrix 100% half a T neck albino. This is a male. This is one of my whole backs. I do have two other males that are going to be available magpie matrix, and those are going to be possible half of both T plus and T neck albino. And these actually get um, lighter, as they age. So it'll probably look more something similar to an ivory blood python, the color, that ivory white, with just a little bit of black in the face and stuff, and a little bit of black in the belly. Then. Now this one's real colorful. This is just a magpie, no matrix in it. A lot darker in the color. I think this girl is gonna be really orange as an adult. Mixed with some um, probably grays and beige and colors like that. But this girl will, is 100% have the T-Nego vinyl as well. She will be available. I also have a couple female, no, a couple male golden eyes, 100% head for T-neck albino. Those are gonna be available. Try to see what else is purchased. All right, so for the last one, I'm gonna show probably one of the few animals that's on the more affordable end. So right here, we have a T-neg, albino, possible matrix, male. This guy's gonna be available. And then, another one. And right here, we got a T plus albino possible matrix. I'm almost certain that this one right here is a matrix, the T plus, because of all this side pattern. Let's see. I'll just show you the T nag, T nag next to T plus albino. This one looks like it's gonna bite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably will. Look at the face on that one though. Colors on it, the T-neck. It's got the little bit hints of red in his face already coming through. Yeah, I don't want it. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm trying to. Knew it. I'm trying there to get go. him. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up with these. All right, so in the comments, let me know which ones you like the most. And if you're interested in anything, hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'm gonna leave the links in the description in the bottom. And y'all already know what it is. Hate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, later.